Good afternoon, you join me on a cold and wet January day. It is five degrees, but it definitely feels colder. Um, I bought a new phone mount, so I thought, ah, oh, I'll make a little video from the car. Just a little update video on what's going on and what's coming up. Um, a couple of interesting things happening on the channel and more and more people are reaching out and sending me stuff. I'm getting so many cool emails and comments um, that it's quite hard to keep on top of it, to be honest, and work out what to do next, what direction to take things and what to talk about. Um, I've got a lovely little video on the way later this week about Escort Cosworths. I have tracked down as many Ford Escort Cosworths that are ex-police as possible. I've found some very interesting stuff in the history of um, the cars that I've found. And that's going to be a good video. It's going to be quite informative. Um, it's going to be pretty light-hearted. It's going to be pretty cool. And I'm also next week meeting up with a farmer. I'm going to go and speak with Gareth up in North Wales about some of the problems that he's having with farming at the moment. Now, I've sort of kept an eye on what's going on with the farming industry, but not in any great detail. So it's going to be very interesting to get filled in by him. Um, on what's been going on and what legislation they're fighting against because he really is genuinely concerned for the future of our nation based around food security so I'm sure that'll be a nice cheery video I'm on my way at the moment to go and pick up some milk uh, I'm off to collect some raw milk from a dairy that my wife's found and there's a video coming on that as well because I have been looking at the official government guidelines on nutrition at the moment and I've got a few things to add to that, and I'm sure Gareth, our North Wales farmer, will also have a few things to add. So, lots going on, basically, on the YouTube content front, and um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying making these videos, I'm enjoying all of your comments, I'm enjoying reading all the emails. And I do try to read every single comment that comes through. Um, it took me hours last night to read all of the 1,600 comments on my BMW video, but I, I do believe that if you're going to make the effort to comment on my video, then I will make the effort to acknowledge your comment. Um, the problem I do have with that though is if someone leaves a really good comment and then I leave a really good reply, that's one conversation. If 10 people have done that, I've got, they've got 10 conversations going on in 10 different comment threads and sometimes it's on 10 different videos. So I do understand why when people get bigger and bigger they don't reply to the comments, but I'll keep doing it for as long as it's numerically possible, because I love you all. What else? Uh, I might today, because the weather's naff, go for a little drive to see my new car. I have a new car arriving on Friday, which is exciting. Uh, coming from a Jeff follower, he contacted me and said, you know, I want this to go to a good home. Uh, it's an extremely high mileage car. It's actually the highest mileage car that I've had on the Jeff Buys Cars channel. So I'm pretty excited about that because I think that's something special. So what will I do with it? Uh, I need to keep one. I need to keep one. Um, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a car for me and I can almost guarantee that you're all going to hate the color, which is interesting because I've not yet posted up a car where I've thought this car's gonna be universally hated. So I'm buying a new car. It's extremely high mileage and you probably won't like it. I think that's quite exciting. It needs an MOT. So it's going to have to go straight for an MOT, and there's a few bits and bobs that I know that it needs. But um, I believe the car needs saving. It certainly looks like a cool thing. So let's get it saved, basically. And I'm told it's quite fast. So very excited about that. Yeah, very excited about that. Make sure you are, if you are a regular viewer, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And you can follow me on Twitter, but I try not to use it too much. But Jess, Jeff, but Jess, I don't know who Jess is. Um, Jeff Buys Cars on Facebook and Jeff Buys Cars on Instagram. That's where I post a lot of stuff as well. Um, I've also got a Rumble account, but I don't know how to use it. I've got a TikTok account and I don't know how to use it. But the numbers seem to be going up. People seem to like the videos that I'm posting out. So keep an eye on me on various um, social platforms because I do share other stuff as well. And thanks everybody. For, um, for the support, thanks for all the nice comments. Every time you comment and click like, it makes a big difference. It helps the algorithm, it helps get the videos out there. So if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it or uh, subscribe on it. Um, sticker packs as well, I'm gonna do some sticker packs in the coming days. In fact, I'm gonna phone Russ today 
and see if he can print them. And if he can print them, then I'll design them. And they'll say things like, well, you know what I'm like, you know what the channel's like, you pretty much guess what my stickers are gonna say. They're gonna be good. Um, so that's it, that's a pretty, pretty chilled out drive with, with, with Jeff. A couple of people have asked how I insure my cars. I have filmed that video, but I haven't done anything with it yet because I didn't like it. Um, Cherish Vehicle Insurance, I have four vehicles on one policy including this car for daily use and commuting, not that I have a job anymore because I got sacked, and the wife's car for um, business use. She drives around looking after old people. So I have uh, four cars on there at the minute, two main cars, two toy cars, fun cars. I don't mean fun, that the cars are fun, the way they're used, so they're, they're low mileage. Um, at the minute it's the Mondeo and the Evil Volvo, but the Evil Volvo has been sold, so that'll be coming off on Friday when this new car comes in. But I pay about £1,100 a year for that, is the way it works out. But most importantly, it's with a company who I like dealing with, and I deal with people that I like dealing with, so I can highly recommend them. What other questions have I been asked? Where do I buy my clothes from? JoeBrowns.co.uk. I'm going to get an affiliate link, so if you go buy something from them, I get a fiver, or I get £5 off their clothes. But that's pretty much the only place I buy clothes from at the minute. Although he says that, everything I'm wearing right now is, well, this came from the NEC Classic Motor Show about six years ago. It's the best woolly hat I've ever had. And both of these two, like an old man, are from Marks and Spencer. So there you go. How do I show my cars? What do I wear? And what's coming up? What a thoroughly exciting video. Jeff goes to buy some milk. I'm really, really looking forward to visiting Gareth's farm. I think he's going to be great. I think it's going to be very interesting to see the farm and understand what he's got going on up there and talk about nutrition and health and well-being and meat and veganism and all this stuff. But I'm very excited and kind of scared to find out the struggles that farmers are going through. So hopefully that's coming up next week. Uh, lots more stuff coming on the ULES because that's still going on. It's not going away. I don't think it's going to go away at all. Um, so yeah, my, I'll continue to sort of... Um, shout with my megaphone from my little small corner of the internet and do what I can to just get people to realise that this stuff is going on. It's very easy to bury your head in the sand and just get on with it. Um, I've never been able to do that. I've been driving Mrs Jeff mad lately because she would just like to get on with life. But I'm saying to her, like, how can you just get on with life when this stuff is going on? And then she thinks that I'm going to, you know, go out one day and come back with a whole load of adopted Republic of Congo children that I've rescued from the mines and it's not quite getting to that stage but we're getting close. Thanks for watching.